Hey guys, it's Danny, and if you are as excited about fall food as I am, you are gonna love today's salad. It is a fresh autumn salad highlighting broccoli and apples, and it couldn't be any easier to make. Here's all you gotta do. We're gonna start by making our dressing, which is a nice, rich, thick, creamy dressing. Now, most often people will make this using all mayo, but what I like to do to lighten it up is use a three quarter cup of a plain Greek yogurt. I'm using 2%. And then I add in just one quarter cup of mayo. You could certainly do all Greek yogurt, but I do find that a little bit of mayo adds a nice flavor. Then I've got two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, two teaspoons of honey, pinch of salt, and a pinch of pepper. Whisk everything together until all those flavors have combined and you have this nice, rich, thick, creamy, but pourable salad dressing. Now, for my salad, it couldn't be any easier. We're gonna start with four cups of broccoli florets. So all I'm doing is chopping the little florets off the top of the broccoli and leaving the stems behind. But make sure that you don't throw the stems in the garbage because they are delicious chopped up and tossed into salads. Sometimes we will cut them up, saute them and eat them with our eggs. Or if you wanna get really fancy, you can make my broccoli stem soup. Then I'm gonna add in some shredded carrots. Just take a carrot and peel it with a potato peeler into nice short fat strands. A third of a cup of finely diced red onion. This is gonna add a little bit of sweetness and a great crunchy texture to the salad. Two large apples chopped up, a half a cup of sunflower seeds, and a third of a cup of dried tart cherries. Now what I like to do to make the cherries go a long way is cut them up with my scissor so you get little pieces of cherries and you don't need as many. They have a big, bright burst of flavor and a little goes a long way. Once I have all my ingredients in the bowl, I'm gonna drizzle the dressing over the top and then gently stir this and start to work all the ingredients together. What you want here is for everything to have a nice light coating of the dressing and for all the veggies and the fruit and the seeds to be distributed evenly throughout the salad. And remember guys, what grows together goes together, just like apples and broccoli. Anything that grows in the same season is gonna taste great together. And that's just a great tip to keep in your pocket when you're trying to eat better and you still wanna keep things super fresh and super delicious. Working with the seasons is always gonna work in your favor. Now, what I like to do with this salad is serve it along dinner. It's delicious with some grilled or baked salmon. I also like packing it up for lunch with a little bit of grilled chicken, and it will last you in the fridge a good three to five days. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This salad has so much flavor and so many different textures. All paired together with the tart cherry and the creamy dressing, this salad is a party in your mouth, you guys have got to try this one. Now, if you guys like this recipe and want more fall recipes just like this one, be sure you give me a big thumbs up and then come on down into the comments below and let me know what you think. And if you wanna print this recipe, head on over to cleananddelicious.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees. I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Hey guys, it's Danny. And if you are as excited as Hey guys, it's Danny. Now, what the hey, I'm like Mr. Rogers over here. It's like a little party in your mouth. Now, I forgot what I was gonna say. Hey guys, it's Danny, and let me say, let me say, over the top just to bulk it up. Um, I'm losing my mind. And it could not be any easier. What, 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 no. Hey guys, no. here we go.